Hey everyone, it's Lorenzo, and welcome to Two Minute Tips on Hack Your Leadership Podcast. Today's Two Minute Tip is brought to you by Sumit Gupta. Sumit is the founder and leadership coach at Deploy Yourself. Sumit provides some great insight and advice on being an introvert and how to handle tough conversations. Find more great content from Sumit on LinkedIn. A link to his page can be found in the episode notes. My name is Sumit Gupta, and you're listening to my Two Minute Tip on Hacking Your Leadership. What most people know about me is that I coach leaders and high performers to navigate tough conversations. What most people don't know about me is that my heart used to sank every time I knew a tough conversation was coming. You know, as an introvert, I have always avoided tough conversations. It was only much later that I realized that my introversion can be a strength when it comes to handling such conversations. I was not aware that there are things that I do naturally which as an introvert can become a superpower in any such conversation. There are three such superpowers and they are one, preparation, two, listening, and three, practice. Let's go over all of them one by one. Number one, preparation. You know, as introverts, we prepare, we over prepare. We can prepare for different people and situations to remove any uncertainty and anxiety. We can ask ourselves questions like, what is this meeting about? What material can I read before? Who are the people in this meeting? And what is my history and relationships with them? Can I know them better? What are their personality styles? You know, when we ask ourselves these questions, we can use preparation as as a tool to get better when it actually comes to the meeting. And when people see that you are well informed, they will be more willing to listen to what you have to say. Second, you can use your keen listening skills to go a level deeper and listen to people's concerns, not just to what they're saying. You can be curious, not just about the topic of the conversation, but also the people involved. You can listen to what they care about. You can, you can ask questions like, like, what is so important about this to you that is making you frustrated, excited, or angry? You can go deeper and listen to what is important to the people and you can help them you can sometimes help people connect to what what is meaningful for them even better than they understand themselves number three you can practice and role play to prepare yourself you can practice replying back to aggressive people which i always found difficult you can practice dealing with bullying or passive aggressive behavior without falling into the same trap You can practice expressing your emotions while still being aligned to your values. You can practice saying no politely but strongly. And you can practice being clear about what is non-negotiable for you. Once you realize that introversion is a strength when it comes to handling difficult people and difficult conversations, you can use them to your advantage. If you want to know more about my work, You can find me on LinkedIn by my name, Sumit Gupta, or you can go to deployyourself.com to download a workbook which contains 164 powerful questions which I regularly use to help leaders get more effective at leading their teams. Thank you.